MP3 players. What do you think of the past? And I'm sorry if the camera is shaky. I'm using my original box for my camera. And, uh, well, this will be the somewhat last. Oh, it's November. That's right. The snow is coming. Mmm, and the cold. But anyway, um, MP3 players. These things are the thing of the past and I have two of them and first off before I want to ramble on an old calculator I don't remember when this is from like 1962 I think uh, yeah this thing takes two AA batteries it's from Casio memory 8R hmm I'll look it up and then I'll annotate it somewhere on the screen when it came out, this thing takes two AA batteries, which I have right here. Uh, oh dear. And the only problem that I have with this calculator, mm, there we go, is that it don't work. So, sorry about all the rambling. My mom's on the phone. So, yeah. Problem is, it don't work anymore. I think my teacher gave this to me because she said it was notorious for malfunctioning and she was right. So, farewell. Okay. For that aside, let's move on. Let's move my camera up. Alright. Next. This is my first MP3 player. This thing don't work anymore. Because I blew away the operating system accidentally from Kobe. It is a 4 gigabyte and yeah, good thing I formatted all my music off so I can get this recycled. This has an integrated battery which was lovely and unfortunately it don't work anymore. I'm afraid to plug it in my computer because I'm afraid it might blow up my USB port. And micro USB plug, standard plug, male to female. Just goes in like this. If I can get it. Okay. And then right there is the headphone jack. Sorry if it's hard to see, but it's all black. So what do you expect? Alright. Done with that one. Alright, and then I got this for Christmas from my gram gram. This is a JPX. 2 gigabyte, I think. Yes, so 2 gigabyte. And and it takes one AAA battery, which I have right here. And it can only be alkaline, because if we use something else, it might not work. Uh, getting the battery in there is frustrating. Okay. Getting it out is more of a pain in the butt. Let's boot it up. This one does work, by the way. Ugh, the screen's too bright. And I have no music. That's right, because I formatted it off. Because I didn't use this anymore. Because I have my iPod Touch. Now, let's get more comfortable here. Let's turn that off. And, uh... USB, headphone jack. Uh, this don't work. Never did. And then the standard plug. Just like the other one. However, if I use this cable in that MP3 player, this won't work. But if I have them the right way, it'll work. So I don't understand. Unless this has more voltage. Well, I have another MP3 player to show you guys. I will be right back. Uh, I couldn't find it, uh, plus I'm too lazy to look for it. Uh, uh, I must have recycled it already. There's one thing about it, it didn't work. It likes to crash USB ports. And that's one thing that I don't like at all. So, what do I, let's do a review, honestly, on these. Uh, let me grab it quick. Ugh, there. Uh, what did I think of this one? Uh, it was nice. Uh, did what it did. 
for its time. Uh, I might have overcharged the battery, but hey, I got my iPod now, so we're okay. Um, if you guys know how to reset these or how to reload the operating system, that would be great. But the only problem that I have with it now is that the headphone jack, one earbud works, but the other one don't. It's like there's a big short in the socket somewhere. I wonder if it was the headphones. No, it can't be the headphones. I've had this MP3 player for a long time. But it's a waiting recycling. So, yeah, so long, chap. You did what you needed to do for me for a while. Uh, can't get it back in there. And then I have to get rid of the cable, too, sadly. Because or else it won't work. Uh, okay, so what I think I would give this on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give it a 6. Very user friendly. And very straightforward. Oh, and another thing that I liked about this, it offered radio. So maybe a 7. My bad. And I could listen to the radio while I was in bed. So, that was nice. Alright, let me get the other player. Uh, on a scale 1 to 10, what do I think of this one? I would probably give it a... Mm, let's give it a 6. Uh, the reason why it's so low is because it takes one AAA battery. Oops, phone ring. Sorry. <laughs> it takes one AAA battery. And, let me tell you, that can get expensive. But AAA batteries and AA batteries are cheap now, so... They're at 50, 20, no, 50 cents to an hour per battery now. So, well, and uh, one thing about it, very nice battery, or MP3 player. The only problem is that you can only listen to music with it. No other add-on features or whatever. Let's see if I can get this out. <coughs> oh, bloody hell, I can't even get it out. There. Ta da! Set that over there. So, yeah. This one's still good. I might sell this to somebody, but not you guys. But somebody I know that wants an MP3 player that's pretty efficient. But the only problem is that he needs one AAA. Or I just might get rid of it. Excuse me. Or whatever. And I'll figure it out what I want to do with it. Okay, so what do I think of these MP3 players? Well, they're old. Uh, shoo. They're old, and uh, I got them a long time ago. Uh, I'll put the manufacturing dates in the description when they were made and when I think I got them. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this review. Oh, before I forget, what do I think about this calculator when it did work? Uh, I'd probably give it a maybe a five. Reason being is because it was really touchy. Because you had to be very precise for it to work. You guys might have seen these on YouTube. So, oh, I forgot. You could plug it inside the wall, too. But it didn't have the wall adapter. So, and as I said, it takes two double A's, which is three volts. And it takes 2.2 watts. Not bad, but it's a shame it don't work anymore. And the only problem with this too is that it doesn't have an auto off feature. So if I leave this on overnight, I could kill the batteries. So, just for a little FYI, be careful what you do. But yeah, this thing was really touchy. Like if you press 5, it would probably do it twice and then you would screw up your equation. But it was a basic calculator with your division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. And yeah, your basic stuff. I'll let you look at it quick. Very nice. Casio Memory 8R. I'll put the manufacturing date in the in an annotation somewhere. I don't know where. Okay. That wraps up this hands-on review. 
If it was short, I do apologize. But if it was long, I do apologize. I'm getting better. So, I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye now.